It's happening. It's happening. Yep. Where do you want us to look? I'm, I've been working my whole life for this. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jenny. And I'm Tim. And we are here to answer some of the internet's most asked questions about asteroids. Asteroids? Rocks flying through space and orbiting the sun. I mean, how can you not get excited about these, right? It's pretty exciting. They're pretty awesome. And we have traveled over 2 billion kilometers in space to asteroid Bennu just to get a piece of it and bring it back to Earth. With the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft, which got to asteroid Bennu and is measuring it to try to understand where we're going to get a sample from and how we can bring it back to Earth. Pretty cool. It's awesome. So, let's get started. Okay, go. Okay, first question. Can we see asteroids with the naked eye? Hmm, good question. Well, we can, but not all of them. The asteroids that we see with the naked eye have to be close enough to Earth, they have to be big enough to see, and they have to be reflecting enough light from the sun so that we can actually see them. Good yes. question. How do asteroids move through space? Well, when they were formed at the beginning of the solar system, uh, they got a little push and really haven't stopped since. Um, they can accelerate sometimes if they fly close to a planet, but they've just been moving the entire time. Just been going. Just going. Just going. Okay, next question. Where are asteroids found? Well, most asteroids in our solar system are found in the main asteroid belt, which is between Mars and Jupiter. It's out there, it's far. It's out there, yeah. ways away. No, why? Why, Jenny, why, is studying asteroids so important? Why? Well, asteroids tell us about the history of the solar system. If you can go back and get a piece of an asteroid, essentially what you've done is gone back in time by four and a half billion years to understand what the early solar system was made of. And really, because they're the leftover bits that went into forming planets, it helps us learn how planets were made in the first place. Wow. Yeah. Okay, next question. What is the difference between a comet, an asteroid, and a meteor? Hmm, good question. Okay, a comet? Dusty snowballs. Yeah, big chunks of rock, ice, and dust, and it, they usually have a tail, right? Usually have a tail behind them, yeah. Usually have a tail. Asteroid, rock. Metallic or non-metallic. No tail. No. And no water. No, no, no water. water, no. No water. A meteor is a chunk of an asteroid which has entered Earth's atmosphere. And a meteorite? Is if it hits the Earth's surface and you can go pick it up. Great, good question. How do scientists study asteroids? Well, one of the ways we do it are with spaceships like OSIRIS-REx that have flown over two billion kilometers to asteroid Bennu. Mm -hmm. uh, there's instruments on the spacecraft that can uh, take pictures of it to know what it looks like, to measure what it's made of, and with the Canadian instrument called OLA to measure really, really accurately what the shape is so that we can figure out where to grab a sample to bring it home. Cool. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be incredible. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Science. <laughs> when were asteroids formed? Hmm. Well, asteroids were formed when our solar system was formed, so what, four and a half billion years ago? And they're really like these time capsules in space that show us what the composition of our solar system was way back then. Jenny, is there water on asteroids? Nope. nope. None. No water on asteroids. Maybe there's some water trapped in the rocks, but not water as we know it, you know? No. Can't swim. No swimming. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can take the next one. <laughs> Tim. Yes. Do asteroids have gravity? Yes. They do? Yes, they do. Of course they do. Anything that has mass has gravity. <laughs> uh, the problem is that asteroids are usually pretty small, so the gravity isn't really that strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not strong. Not strong. At all. Now, is there life on <laughs> asteroids? Well, no. <laughs> no. No. No, asteroids are awful, awful places. Um, there's no atmosphere, there's no water, the radiation is terrible, and so there is nothing living on asteroids. No, bad places to go. Don't go there. No. No. Poor choice. Okay. Okay. Well... We're done with questions. Good? Oh. I'm taking... I guess that's it. All right, we're done. See you, Tim. Cool.